It's a little after 6 p.m. in Moorhead City, waiting the approach of what could be Hurricane Ophelia in a few hours. Ophelia, now a post-tropical cyclone, continued to break its moves into the mid-Atlantic Sunday, pumping nearly 9 million people from Long Island to Southern Maryland at risk of coastal flooding. A coastal flood warning was also issued for residents of Atlantic City, New Jersey, where several roads were closed due to flooding. Areas from eastern Pennsylvania to southern Long Island could see heavy rain on Sunday, potentially leading to isolated flash flooding. The National Weather Service warning that flooding could be significant enough to close roads and jeopardy home and businesses in some areas. Forecasters say heavy rain will move northeastward on the Sunday and core parts of New England and the northern mid-Atlantic can reckon of failure continue in the parts up in the eastern coast. The associated heavy rain will create mostly localized areas to flash flooding, with the urban areas, road and small streams being most vulnerable. The Weather Prediction Center say New York City issued a travel warning through the Sunday warning and the prolonged rainfall. Although the warning days in summer are behind us, New Yorkers should take Precautions against the forecast for the high winds and rain during the first week in fall. New York City Emergency Management Commissioner Zach Iskall said, Now a feather is expected to continue moving over southeastern Virginia and then Delmaria Peninsula with a sustained wind of 35 miles per hour according to National Hurricane Center. Oh, whoa. Tropical storm Ophelia is approaching the coast in North Carolina. The storm was expected to hit the state coastal early Saturday morning. Nearly 8 million people in the Carolinas and mid Atlantic were under tropical storm warning. Tropical storm Ophelia was forecast by landfall in North Carolina early Saturday morning and in a deep part of several coastal states with up to 7 inches of rain moving inland over the weekend. According to the National Hurricane Center, the tropical storm developing along the North California coast before the down Saturday in the storm moved north. As of 2 a.m. it was about 45 miles east of Cofir and east and had maximum sustained winds of about 16 miles per hour. The center said hurricane force winds start at 74 mile hours. As Ophelia headed toward the United States, nearly 8 million people from the California and Delaware were under a tropical storm warning as 2.13 a.m. Many sustained winds at least 39 miles per hour were expected in those areas 36 hours according to the National Weather Service. A hurricane watch was also in effect parts of North California. Many hurricane force winds, flooding and storm surge were possible within 34 hours. The hurricane center said flooding is associated with a surge with deepening in parts of the tidal cycle. <laughs> 